Now the latest on that deepening mystery at the Vatican where officials are searching for a 15 year old girl who vanished nearly four decades ago. Tomorrow, investigators will unseal and examine a discovery they made in a tomb that could be key. ABC's Will Reeve has more from Vatican City. Will, good morning. Amy, good morning. Last week, the search for Emanuela Orlandi heated up when an area believed to contain the bones of two 19th century German princesses turned up empty, but nearby bones and human remains were found. Now, tomorrow morning, just behind me here in the Vatican, officials will unseal those containers, hoping to uncover clues in a decades long mystery. More questions will soon be answered in that mystery at the Vatican as two containers bearing human remains will be unsealed tomorrow, perhaps leading to clues to the four decades old case of 15 year old Emanuela Orlandi. Anytime there's a mystery, a potential scandal with any hint of a Vatican involvement, it's going to take on a life of its own. It sounds like it could be the newest Robert Langdon story. There's a hidden trail through Rome itself. I need access to the Vatican archives. The teenager vanishing 36 years ago was never seen again. You have a young girl who just disappears without a trace on a Roman street. The fact that she had a connection to the Vatican, she was the daughter of a Vatican employee, has only amplified the interest. Last week, Vatican investigators acted on an anonymous tip that Orlandi's remains might be buried here, prying open the tombs of two 19th century German princesses, an angel pointing right to it. Her brother Pietro Orlandi telling reporters no remains were found in either tomb. Era completamente vuota. It was completely empty. The excavation here inside Vatican City on the grounds of the Pontifical Teutonic College, right next to St. Peter's Basilica. When those tombs turned up empty, the Vatican recalled that there has been structural work done on that cemetery where the bones might have been moved. Uh, so the continuing excavation work was done to locate the bones of the princesses, um, and apparently they have found something. Those empty tombs leading officials to investigate nearby, where they soon made the discovery of the containers under a stone slab, leading to the belief that those remains could belong to Orlandi. The Vatican will formally open this new container that it found underground, uh, where it discovered some bones. Tomorrow, the Holy See plans to unseal those two containers. Forensics experts, the Orlandi family and descendants of the princesses, have all been invited. Those forensic experts will be able to tell how old the bones are just by looking at them, but they won't be able to complete a full scientific analysis for at least a couple months. Of course, if they can tell on site that the bones are older than from 1983, it can't be Emanuela Orlandi. And the mystery continues, Amy. Yeah, it's so fascinating. How helpful has the Vatican been in this inquiry? Well, Amy, helpful. They're allowing the investigation and the excavations to go on, and they have maintained throughout all of this that they had nothing to do with Emanuela Orlandi's disappearance in 1983, and they are allowing the Orlandi family uh, to follow any and all leads that they think are worth following, which is, at this point, all of them. Right. All right, Well, we hope the family gets some answers, much-needed answers. All right, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.